He's usually sweaty with anxiety and smelling of drink, if not pubs. This overgrown schoolboy with his thinning hair, luminous scalp and cheap watch. Some disaster involving his wallet, a train, a change of trousers, and perhaps a woman or two has inevitably befallen him on his way to you. I dislike unsightly people when I don't pity them. They're always at a disadvantage when it comes to entitlement. If Eddie were good looking, we wouldn't be having this trouble. Hush now. Don't explain. Eddie is an unprincipled Soho chancer and the third corner of a love triangle in Hanif Qureshi's slim new novel. He's modelled on a real-life money man who cheated the author out of his savings. The first person I rang up after I found out, gone to my bank and found out my accounts had been uh, uh, emptied, the first person I rang up was the man who did it. And I remember ringing up him up and him expressing shock and I expressed shock and he came down we would talk to the bank and so you think you're going later on when you look back obviously you think you're going completely mad mm. uh, I spent quite a lot of time with him and I became quite interested in him as well as hating him um, so I found myself writing a story about a con man but one of the things that I noticed that's happened in the culture recently is that the criminals are not really anymore on the on the margins that the criminality has moved, as it were, to the centre. And so after the financial crash of 2008, we re began to realise that the banks and the hedge funds and other financiers and so on were, were, were extremely dodgy. I still have a 1960s sensibility. We took it for granted that the good things, equality, feminism, anti-racism, freedom for sexual minorities, would be extended. We believe we were enlightened. The good things would be good for everyone but people didn't want them. We were elitists, that's all. Nigel Farage and I come from the same place. We both Do come, you? Yeah, we're very, very similar in our background. He comes from Bromley, he lives, indeed lived in a little village called Down, just outside where I was born and, and brought up. And the idea that we're going back to England in the 1950s is a, is a horrifying, narrowing and innovating idea. I think there's been a real shift and I don't think pe people believe anymore in, in that the, there is a left alternative. It's a tragedy, the collapse of the left. And Corbyn is a tragedy, really, for the Labour Party. But Corbyn really came out of Blair um, and was, was a reaction to Blair. And I think we all thought it was really a good time that we got someone really left, left wing in. And, and, and Did you have a vote? Are you a party member? I... I, I at the beginning, I thought Corbyn was a good idea. And I think, like a lot of people, thought at last that we were returning to our Labour roots. But it hasn't really worked. And I think we need a real, a, a real rethink on the left uh, uh, about what a progressive left in Britain and in Europe would mean. I think uh, Macron in, in France, actually, uh, has been rather illuminating and rather exciting, actually. Um, Let's hope something similar could happen in the UK. Sex outside the vanilla hetero norm. Racial tensions. These have been themes of Qureshi's work since he won an Oscar nod 30 years ago for the screenplay of My Beautiful Laundrette. I want to do some work for a change instead of all this hanging around. What, are you jealous? He you says know, racism know. has been getting worse, like and Muslims in particular are stigmatised. But they came over here to work for us. That's why we brought them over, OK? And the Muslim is responsible for, you know, is medieval, is uh, uh, backward, uh, hates gays and hates women, and has been captured. Uh, millions, of, millions, indeed a billion people have been captured in this terrible cliché. Don't um, you think most people or a lot of people do see beyond that? I wish I had your optimism, Steve, because, I mean, at least seven million people would voted for Marine Le Pen. And Marine Le Pen is, is a, is a, 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 a full-on right-wing fascist and comes from, a, 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 as it were, a proper fascist background. 
and during the Brexit campaign and so on, and during the, the Trump elections, we've seen a huge raise, uh, a rise in, in uh, racism. Uh, and this, the establishment of this new paradigm of, of the Muslim, which I think is terrifying. People might be watching this saying, uh, we have a, a mayor of London who's a Muslim. You know, it's, it's no longer exceptional to see uh, minority MPs, members of the cabinet. In a lot of ways, things have changed for the better, haven't they? There's been huge changes for the better, actually, in Britain. And certainly far more, say, in Britain than in France where there is real separation, you feel, between uh, the Muslim population and the so-called elite or the metropolitan elite. So that uh, Britain is exceptional in that sense. But when you look at the rest of Europe, what's happening in Hungary, mm. uh, in, in, in Poland and, and so on, it's very, very worrying to see the rise of, of, of uh, I guess, fascism. Qureshi's latest protagonist, an aging filmmaker, recounts an unsparing black comedy of sexual jealousy and cuckoldry. I've never regretted my candor. The only thing I regret are the occasions when I haven't been as candid as, 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 as I could have been, actually. I mean, it's really important to speak. It's really important to speak and, and, and to see where your words, as it were, might take you. Uh, my books are getting a bit shorter because it's a bit of a huff and puff to get from the beginning to the end, but also I feel more merciful towards the public. Old age is the new childhood. She strokes and kisses me, her husband and baby. She says my name, I drift away. This is as decent a way to die as any. Everything has been said except her name. Z, Z, you forgot about me for a time, but now you remember me, that's all I want. There was only ever you. The breath of her love on my face. Dying's not so bad. You should try it sometime. 